All right, we are almost at the end. Day six of anniversary seven buffs on this episode of Buff Breakdown. We got the buffs for sadly not Summer Abigail. Even I'm gonna say that despite not being her biggest fan, she definitely needed it. We got Voyager instead for skill number three. And for the caster, it is Jill Caster. Yes, they gave him a second buff. They seem to like him way more than his Saber counterpart, it seems. And obviously my predictions were again wrong for this day, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just here to give my um, thoughts on the buffs anyway, so eh. So we're gonna start by tackling the Voyager buff, and I have to say, um, not really overwhelmed by this buff. In fact, I'm very kind of underwhelmed if anything, but it is a buff nonetheless, and obviously this will just make him better. But let's see what I'm talking about here. On his third skill, I believe, I, uh, it's been a while since I did the tier list, but I remember kind of saying this skill to me never was super impressive, at least on a six turn cooldown. I never thought the effects were like amazing considering it's a six turn cooldown skill, but now they did buff it and honestly after this I think it's pretty good now. So everything remains the same, cooldown, old effects, but they just added one new effect. So this skill already was targeted to begin with. And the new effect is a quick up for three turns, scaling from 20 to 30%. So, um, yeah, I guess now it's kind of fair to be a six turn cooldown. Now I'm, now I'm okay with the skill being like this. But that's it. That's really all it is. And honestly, most of the time you're going to be using it on Voyager himself anyway. And it's not the biggest deal ever, because if you know his kit, he already had a three turn quick buff. So again, it's not going to be a new type of damage buff to multiply his damage. It's just going to be an additive one. And yes, with this, he can himself now have 50% quick up like a Scotty buff, basically, for the quick performance just from his own stuff. I suppose it's noteworthy to mention, but again, you, most of the time you're just going to be using it on himself instead of an ally. Although, yes, the flexibility is obviously nice to have. Now, even with this, um, if my sources are correct, which again, this is early to say, um, this will not really change at least how his looping works. So farming wise, this will have a very minimal impact. He doesn't really have like amazing new options for like su loop supports available after this. It's mostly the same stuff as far as I understand. But obviously the damage will go up a little bit and we'll see the numbers in a second here as well. And otherwise, besides farming, um, I think, yeah, I think this buff is actually better for bosses than farming. Because again, the farming is mostly going to be similar as it was anyway. I hope it's not too toxic to say, but I think this is a lame buff. And maybe that's a bit of salt as well, because again, I'm not even a big fan of Abigail, but I really think she deserved the buff. Summer Abigail, that is way more than Voyager. But uh, yeah, uh, and especially because this buff doesn't even really change too much. That's the, that's the main problem I have. It doesn't really change too much. It helps, it makes him better, but it do it's a lame buff that doesn't really help much. That's, that's what I think about it. So real b brief before we look at the tier list, here are the numbers now. Shout out to Jord for making this list, including the old and the new numbers. So with the same setup, you can see the numbers are barely different. There is not a whole lot of difference, especially waves one and two. There's like the damage is still like it's so minimal because, again, it's an additive buff to a, and stuff he already has instead of being multipli multiplicative. I still struggle with that word. This won't really change too much. If anything, it's better for bosses, not farming. So having said that, I did have him at B+. And I remember when I did this tier list, there were people that were mad that I didn't place him in the same tier as Jacques because they are very similar in a lot of ways with both like farming and DPS, I suppose, and both also support your team. So there's a lot of similarities, but uh, I did place Jacques on A and him on B, but uh, B plus. But with this, I guess I can now just place them in the same tier. A small bump, but again, I don't think Voyager will be anything like groundbreaking for neither farming nor bosses. He's a solid servant for sure. You can absolutely use him, especially even on neutral. He's still fine, even if the damage won't be insanely high, because at least he still has the uh, party utility. But I think that's all he is still right now. Just uh, he's a good servant, but not an amazing servant. And I still want to say that, yeah, sadly, I think the buff is pretty lame. But oh well, he's better. So there's that. Here's a nice buff though. <laughs> I mean, rip Geronimo, maybe they'll never fix him, but who, it is what it is. But this buff, no pun intended, 
cool. This is like such a cool buff. I love when they try crazy stuff and this is exactly what they're doing here. So they buffed Jill Caster's MP. So let's just immediately see what we're dealing with here. His MP always was very bad. And I mean that, very bad. No other normal effects besides unbuffed damage. That's the worst case scenario, obviously. And then the OC was an AoE attack down for three turns. 20% is nice, though. So at least the OC wasn't terrible. This could actually help you in bosses. But even then, that's all it did. Such a weak MP overall, though. But now, not only does it come with the standard damage upgrade, but two new effects. Yes, not one, but two. So first of all, new scaling overcharge effect. Also a 20% defense down for three turns. Very solid. Yes, it's still after damage like the attack down, but still, it's just a bonus. So that OC actually looking fairly good now. And this is the really cool part, a new normal. He finally has a normal effect besides the damage. And it's a 30% battery for MP on your foreigner allies. I love it. I think this is such a cool buff. Will it make him an amazing like foreigner support? Don't think so. I really don't see it happening. I just love it. I love when they try to experiment. Because let's be real, with the damage buff and the added OC effect, that was already a fairly good buff. He's always honestly just going to be better from that, regardless of if you pair him with foreigners or not. But then they added this on top to give him a very cool niche as well. I love it. It's just a very cool buff. Again, no pun intended. Or actually, you know what? Absolutely intended. This man is Psycho no Kuru. And yes, this buff reflects that very much. E I don't care even if this doesn't change too much for him. Like, he's still not the best there is in what he does. But I love this buff regardless. So on the caster tier list, I had him at a very sad C. Now, looking at some of his peers, like... Um, Abi Kebron and uh, Babbage, I had an A, so he's definitely way too far from them right now. I'm honestly willing to bump him a full tier up to B now, because I don't think he's one and a half tiers below these two. Maybe it's my fault from placing them higher, but and maybe I'll fix this in the caster tier list next year, who knows, maybe they're the same, but I might be willing to bump him a full tier after this, because at least now his damage is also way better, and he has cool utility as well. Also, one thing worth noting, he actually is a decent debuffer now, because he, the MP comes with the AoE uh, attack and defense down for three turns on solid base values. Remember, they also buffed his second skill, so this one also has an AoE Arts and Buster res down for three turns on a five turn cooldown with also 20%. So this man, despite himself not being the best DPS out there, he can do some really solid debuffing now at least on good uptime as well. So if, if anything, I think that's the main, like, actual good gameplay side of him. And hell, if you pair him with foreigners, you'd get a nice bonus as well. But even outside of that, I think he truly deserves the B tier now. Because he, he wouldn't be this... Like, C plus would be way too far from Babbage and um, Abi Kebron, in my opinion. Even if people still won't pick him much, because let's be real, not everyone even has a copy of Caster Jilt, <laughs> and he is still story locked, so MP5ing him is difficult, needless to say. So maybe that's why I'm not gonna put B, because, you know, still a story lock 3 star. Yeah, with that, let's do some recaps. So, Voyager buff, um, someone else probably needed it more. It is what it is. Uh, obviously he wasn't the best either and he's just better from this but farming is still mostly the same and he has a bit more um presence in challenge quests but mostly not a big deal in my opinion and for this buff i love it makes him a way better debuffer and also gives him a very cool unique niche as well as an option even if it's not a great one still a very cool thing i've said cool so many times at this point it really lost all meaning so there you go M mixed feelings about today's buffs but it is what it is. Not every day can be perfect. And tomorrow is actually the final day of the anniversary buffs. Day 7, a full week of buffs as usual. And the buffs will be for a 4-star saber. And at this point, my predictions after the first two days have been so wrong. But I'm still going to tell you mine. Because I still I, I didn't change any of my predictions really. Because that would be cheating. Um, my 4-star saber prediction was uh, Saber Alter. I, I, I'd like to see them buff her uh, Charisma E. It is terrible. So hopefully they do that. Obviously, there's a lot of other options as well. And my prediction for the one-star Berserker is Asterius, because he still has a very basic monster strength. 
could be a very easy target. I don't really see them buffing Spartacus anymore, and I guess Bunyan is the only other option, which is possible, but I'm thinking they're gonna buff Asterius. So there you go. Those are my predictions. So if you enjoyed this, again, these might come out a bit later because I'm streaming, and I so it takes me a bit while to get these out, but hey, if you enjoyed it, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button. Really helps out. A lot of other uploads planned as well, so stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I hope you guys continue, hopefully, to have a great rest of your weekend. Alright, peace up, my dudes.